there on the outside we're off and it looks like struggles for grip but it looks like it is the Europa 61 of Dave Gilder that's your early runner and it looks like Gloucester 16 is going to challenge us Lee Scottford around the outside but it's going to be slippery it's going to be greasy Ibermee's looking for grip on the outside but it's not it's still Radford 60 no it is it's Jamie Ibermee Ibermee oh, they go into the pitch bed for the first time it's still Ibermee and it's like always oh, going up the inside to uh, try and challenge the second in front of Gilder they go down the back straight, still gloss to 17 from round for 61, Sir Nears 263, and uh, Alan Re uh, Tony Reynolds in Sir Nears triple three. And then we've got Paul Bailey, and then gloss to 16, Lee Scotford at the back uh, near the rear, with Tony Taylor bringing up the rear. So it's gloss to 17, round for 61, Sir Nears 263, gloss to 16, Harrison 99, and Concord, and it's 27, so it's still Jamie Ibermee down the back straight, and going into the uh, 810 bed for another time. And it's uh, Radford 61, they're still holding on to second. It looks like uh, Tony Reynolds has got up into third, he stayed out wide as uh, Paul Wallwood is trying to make it work on the inside without Paul Bailey in the So uh, I think Paul Wallwood needs to uh, get on the, the loose stuff on the outside because uh, the wet stuff on the inside is just not happening for him. But it is happening for Jamie Ivermey as he's away and gone. He's stretched his lead out from uh, Radford 61 of David Gilder. As Jamie completes another circuit, Paul Bailey has come from about seventh up until third now, and he looks like he's going to try it. So uh, look out for Paul Bailey, he's going to go around the outside of Rapid 61, and we've lost cross register 16, Lee Scotford on the bottom bend, on the A10 bend. Is he going to get out of the way? Are we going to stop it? We keep going, those yellow flags are waving, so they're going to leave him there. So it is Gloucester 17, and Paul Bailey has gone up into second place. And uh, so Eric with 99 on that mission. And, uh, still Jamie Ivermey but Paul Bailey has closed that gap for sure Paul Bailey is on a mission Hereford 99 he is hunting down the Gloucester and District 17 machine as they complete another circuit Gilder is still there in third and the Sydney is strong right in top of the lane I don't know which one it is Tony Reynolds has made that full play stick and he is closed in on uh, Dave Gilder as they go round the pit bed but down the back straight and it looks like the last lap flag is getting ready so Paul Bailey has a one and a half circuits to go to try and make it uh, first place in this final, but it is Jamie Ivermee in Gloucester and District 17 and takes the last lap back from the Bayou Harris 99 Day Gilder in Rapid 61. And then he is going to be Paul and Tony Reynolds actually top five as they go all on to their last circuit as everyone is now, so is Alan Sproul, uh, Tony Teller. Concord at 627, but going into the A10 bed and the final bed for the final time is Gloucester and District 17. Jamie Ivermee takes the win. Paul Bailey, Hereford 99 takes second. I think another lap, Paul Bailey might have got him. There's R61 SN, triple three of Tony Reynolds in fourth, takes the final Tony Fisher, and then it must have been Paul Hallwood in St. Nears 263 that was popping and banging, and he's made a good limp over the line, and then Tony Teller.